Okay, gamers, welcome back to the cockpit. And now we will be doing the battle by taking out the next enemy base. Okay, as usual, since it's an enemy base, it will be a ground attack mission. That's why we will be doing this top to the bottom view. We'll be fighting. Oh, now these guys look more like aliens now. Okay, I give you credit for fighting aliens. And when I just give you guys a great fight, great for fighting aliens, you give me outward signals. Seriously, guys, this is this is not helping. Okay, now I just keep on moving. Okay, just put it this way. The action, let's say, system over here, the steps and the move, the momentum is very fast. So you need to be good over here. It means if you want a slight wrong move, you actually ram into the walls. Actually, it just let you know I don't ram into walls. I don't waste a light here, but I think maybe well, if I should let it do it, show you that ramming into wall really does cause damage here. Okay, yeah, we keep on going left and right, left and right. Now you can see my bullets are much more tighter. Because I've let's say spent quite a few credits on upgrading this aircraft. Yeah, you can't do that if it's a real F-14, but it's a game. So all realism is actually gone. Okay, here we go. Just keep on shooting. Okay, now we're at the best. With no reason, I just take out the top over there with his. And here we go. There. More shot in the middle. More shot in the middle. Actually, this reminds me a lot of the old Macross game. We we'll just fly around, let's say, take down aliens. Is it there? Wow. Uh, there's no power, I just got extra life over there. That's good. And that means only one last base. Alright, I just destroyed a base, now I take out the fighters. Wait, I just destroyed the base and I take out the fighters. <laughs> this doesn't make sense. I mean, the fighters should be less if defending the base, right? If the base is bombed, why you guys want to fight me again? I mean, you guys should be less running away. Go, let's say, to the next down defense, make it much more tighter, make it much more stronger, so I won't let it blow your base up. On the other hand, if you guys do that, I won't be able to win the game, so. I will take advantage of here. No, just that you know, actually missiles are limited, so make sure you don't shoot too much of them, okay? Okay, so just let's say since the bullets aren't free, so why not just use more bullets? In real life, this doesn't make sense. I mean, if you're gonna win a war, you're gonna use all the ammunition you have. So let's say wasting ammunition is actually... I mean, it's not to say wrong to waste ammunition, but you waste it at the right moment. If you should, let's say waste ammunition for no reason, of course, the boss will let's say, I mean, the commanders will come on your ass. But this is the middle of a fight with so many opponents coming, and I'm only one guy alone here with no one under my wing. I don't have no squad on, squad mates, or even a flight to let's say give me a hand. So, yeah, I think I have the right to waste all the bullets here, right, guys? Oh, God, alright. Now time to let's say dock on a space station and just make sure I don't let's say jing a little bit to the left or right because I may die again. Okay, just I, I just put it this way, I really want to know what the inside of this space station looks like. It looks strange guys. And that's it, I just went in it. Okay, as usual, once you enter the place, you'll be buying more weapons. I got 70 credits and I think I just use it. Alright, here we go. Next area. Yahoo! Alright, now what am I gonna do? Drop supplies into crossing. Okay, so we got let's say ground units over there. We'll be dropping supplies to them. Here we go. All right, more, more tanks. More tanks over here. Just that you actually you miss the supplies, you actually lose the game. So make sure you'll be a little bit slow over here. And let's say zap anything that you don't like. Actually, it's kind of simple since I'm the only one over here with no other troopers, of the ground troopers that I never see. Everyone else is an enemy, so I'll just go. Oh, did I just hit the spins in the nose? Okay, supplies drop. Good luck, guys. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Sometimes I wonder what kind of supplies I'm holding weapons, bullets, ammunition, food. Last year's, last week's um, Times magazines or Mad magazines. I have no idea. Alright, I might just kill. What the hell did they just block? No idea what those things are. Okay, now these are real really awkward design planes. Don't ever use them again because they are kind of useless. One shot, they it. Okay, stop using Humvees, they are not helping your cause. Okay, more strange plane, they hover around like dragonflies. And those giant tanks can even take a hit. I just hit the spin on the nose again. So, can supplies drop? Okay, I'm off. And that was it. Now, let's see what is my next mission. Should be too tough. Oh, dog fighting again. Fighting this car, let's see, awkward aircraft. Although I admit they look like say fancy over here, but when it comes to the game itself, they still look like phantoms, okay? 
Although I mean, yes, it will be better. Actually, there was a little Delta, they say, being fighter used by the American Navy once, right? But because it's near, I mean, the fighter didn't last long because was being big. Oh, it sucks a lot. Alright, again, that like, uh, Oh, I, I remember that there was a, let's say, the Dart. D A R T, a Dart. It was a good plane. They even told me the seaplane version of it, which is, I mean, can land on the water. Which um, they, the idea didn't run well, it seems like it actually cost more, much more friction and the plane didn't perform well. In the old days, actually, there's a lot of, let's say, planes designed by the British and the Americans, which actually didn't fly well. I mean, the Hawker is one. I mean, there was one called the Thundercliff. And there was one infamous one known as the Starfighter. Yeah, I know it's called Starfighter. It sounds cool, right? But the design is a look, it's a joke. The look is a joke, and its performance is also a goddamn joke. Even the Germans call it a flying coffin for not because it looks like a goddamn coffin, but every time when someone landed that bird, they almost got themselves killed. And many of them actually got themselves killed. Okay, landing in the middle, coming through, here we go. Okay, upgrading my stuff. Okay, more missiles. Wow, I got 99 credits. Just, just spend everything, right? Well, don't really make it a maximum, so I don't, shouldn't be spending credit anymore. It's not say serious spending, I can't spend credit or any things anymore in this case. Alright, next mission. Here we go. Flying to space. Okay, what do we do? Okay, destroy the base. This is gonna be one last final fight, right? I hope there'll be a final boss after this because destroy this base, all this war is kind of legendary. Okay, more Phoenix to let's say block me. But if you guys don't block me, I mean, you, I it suggest you guys do Josting, fly directly at me. I mean, with you shining your buttocks at me, I don't think you can hit me, right? You're trying to let you kill me with exhaust, not helping. I got a gun, you got exhaust. Tell me who's gonna win. Yeah, that's it, you're dead. Okay, here comes another idiot. Alright, alright, that's it. just wait till you can see the the rate of bullets that's coming out here is kind of like a whip. Which actually, whatever blocks my way is technically dead, so don't fly in front of me. Oh god, you guys are really suiciding. Alright, there goes another one. I think he did jingle a little bit. Oh, here we come the base. I just take this one out with the jiffy. I just take that one out with the jiffy. Okay, that's it. I break a little hole in the middle. Got to go there and more shot in the middle. Okay, go, go, come on. I should be dead by now, right? Okay, that's it. And that was the destruction of the last base. And I think the game should be over. Alright, thank you for watching this. And is there any. Oh. I still have to do the fighter counter. Alright, sorry guys. One more fighter counter and that'll be all. Wow, this is a red sky. Yeah, crimson skies. You know, maybe one day you should let's talk about that game. Then I mean that diesel pump game where you let's say fly pre World War II fighters that actually look like an X Wing. Yeah, I'm no doubt. Yeah, the Devastator does look like an X Wing. And it actually is a heavy fighter, so for now it's an X Wing. It is actually a good plane, just as you know. If you guys ever get a chance to play Crimson Size, get a bit of board game or let's say the computer game, and you will be let's say get flying the Devastator, just take a note from me. Unless you want to find a brigade which has a let's say real turret, just stick with the Devastator. It's the best plane. It's agile enough. It can take a lot of good beatings. Not to mention it got good guns. If you got any complaints that I have on the game. On that plane is actually the guns are put on the outer wings, which actually is very hard to kill the target. I'll have my guns in the inner wings, which actually can be done if you let's say have your plane redesigned or rebuilt. Okay, that's it. I think that ends the game. So see you guys. We'll be talking about another different game in. Okay, I still need to dock my ship. Oh, why do I need to dock my ship? I think docking my ship that's all right. Not what the hell. I think fly the bird. I should let's say land the bird. And this thing will a perfect job, okay? Here we go. Oh, still didn't even buy stuff, right? Oh, look, I already let it got all the stuff. I have everything up to the maximum. There's no need for me to spend any money on this thing, right? There's no fight anymore. Oh man, alright. Next mission? I thought I bought all the base ready. Why is there next mission? Hmm, let's have a look. Okay. Pick up scientists. Huh. Alright, let's go. Let's see inside this. Not last mission. In this case, I believe there'll be one more final boss that will take out. I really wonder what the hell it is. Okay, this is definitely a sea area. I mean, they are all boats. And the flat surface is actually blue. So I think we are in water. We are above water. 
Okay, you should be on him, I should be on him, I want to go die, die, you okay? Die, 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 just get lost. Oh. How come there are so many PT boats over here? Oh yeah, PT boats are proton, uh, let's say, torpedo, let's say, slugger boats. Which are, let's say, sea-based fighters, but uh, they are kind of redundant because they will get to travel through the platforms. And let's say, guns or let's say, aero aircraft can take them down easily. And they are not fast enough, let's say, let's say, get out of the way of any danger. Although one saying that actually a lot of PT boats in one shot is kind of scary and dangerous in sea fights, but we have yet to see that and I'm quite certain due to let's say boats being more expensive than planes, I doubt they will be ever building that kind of stuff. Not to mention your mobility is kind of a problem. And you consume more fuel and you only have let's say two shots of torpedoes. Not a good idea. Unless you're fighting in swamps. And those fights won't take place in swamps. Okay, here we go. I wonder where the hell did they place the scientists? Through this valley? Hello, Mr. Scientist. Mr. Einstein, where the hell are you? I've been looking through the skies all over. I have no idea where the hell you are. Will you just give me a sign? Shoot a flare? Yell if you're a lady? Just where the hell are you, man? Oh, God. This speaking of a scientist, this guy is really tough to find. Where the hell? Oh, I think he is. Alright, same thing. Take out the base. Alright, take out the turret, take out the turret, take out the turret. Alright, that's it, that's it, that's it. Okay, left and right, left and right, so they won't hit me. Yeah, I mean the bouncing bullet skin is kind of scary at this point. Well, okay, landing my butt, landing my butt. Uh, landing. Okay, Mr. Scientist, Einstein, get on plane, move, 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 move. Alright, here we go, here we go. We need to get out of here. Alright. We've already got a hold of a secret weapon and that's it. I think that's the end of the mission, right? Alright, still more dog fighting area, so why not? Alright. Let's do this one last time, right? Alright, blue skies, why not? I mean everything's back to normal now, right? Wow, red fighters. Don't thankfully they're not red barons. Okay, there they go. Another one down, and another one down. More to shoot, more to shoot. Uh, stay still, okay, that's it. I'll just take these two down. Alright, alright, do I just this? Okay, that's it. I think I need to let's see, take all of them down, right? You know, I got a feeling actually this game needs to take all take down all enemy aircraft. So they just fly backward and forward they deal with. Okay, that's it. One more shot, one more shot. That should be all of them, right? Oh still some more. Oh man, you guys really come in big numbers. Oh god, there they go. I think I just run out of missiles. Nah. A safe them for let's say much more let's say dangerous targets hopefully we will run into them yeah if i can take them off this out with my guns that means i'm good all right boy am i good okay that's the end of the fight and i believe that's the end of the game right oh we still have to destroy the enemy space station there we go one last flight to the jungle guys and well, this is one ugly looking space station uh, yeah, and yeah, it does look like a docking area, but you do not doubt you actually let's say take out the turrets and a giant eye in the middle. Oh, that's nice. Okay, the eye is not saving you, and you are dead. Oh god, staying this let's say advanced sci-fi world really sucks, guys. Maybe you should see you guys. see you next guys next time when we go back to Stone Age, where things are much more simple, filled with litters. See you then. All right, let's go. Bye.